It is a monumental day today. Oh, she went there! Amazing. We are 50% vaccinated. Woo! So this is it. This is how we've styled it. How are we all? I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to my channel and to a weekend vlog. I am absolutely loving the comments on my last video when I spoke about video ideas. If you didn't see that, I'll link it up in the top corner. But I was just speaking about some ideas for future videos and so many of you left so many lovely comments in that you really enjoy the vlogs. I love vlogging, so I thought I'd do a little weekend one for you. So Zara's here, by the way. Obviously, Zara's working in the office three days a week and then has two days a week at home. And today is her day at home, so she's here. Look at her. Hi. Hi. Um, we just sat and had, well, we're about to have some lunch, actually. I made some bruschetta. Um, so I grilled some lovely little bread, I'll show you. Um, so yeah, today, obviously, it's just going to be a working from home day. And then this evening, we're going out for dinner. Uh, we've been very kindly invited along to the Ivy. I mean, I mean, a bit fancy. <laughs> um, it's in Blackheath, so just up or down, along from Greenwich. So yeah, I'll take you along for that. And then tomorrow, we're getting our vaccinations. We're getting Ooh, our COVID yeah, vaccine. Yeah. <laughs> we're getting our COVID vaccine. So that's very exciting. So I thought I'd document that process just because I feel like looking back on that in years to come, is going to be crazy. Anyway, so this is the lunch. I've just prepared it. So like I say, I griddled the bread. This was what I picked up in a little with a little bit of garlic oil, rubbed some fresh garlic on, and I've just done loads of tomatoes with some balsamic, rock salt, olive oil, and obviously tomatoes. And there's some more salt on the side. So I was just made us a brew. And also, update, the lilies have bloomed. Which one has? Well, one lily has bloomed. Where was it? Here. Ah, look at that! They are death flowers though, They're not! Yeah, a lot of you said that lilies are actually poisonous. Yeah, please dig in. Lilies are poisonous to cats, so um, luckily we don't have any cats or animals, so apart from the animal there. <laughs> so um, yeah, and you all seem to like the flower engine tips as well, so I'm glad that came in handy. And then I think actually Mr. Carrington might be on the TV soon. He's doing his for Steph's Back Lunch Friday segment, so we'll pop that on in the background. We just have a little catch up. It's quite nice to have Zara back. He was obviously in the office three days a week, so it's just nice to have someone to talk to. So um, yeah, I'm going to pop you on a time lapse and we're going to eat lunch. There he is, Mr. C. <laughs> He's got his little bargs. Oh wow, that's brave. <laughs> All right, we're gonna watch his little bit. Yeah. So we just finished up lunch and watching Mr. Carrington's little bit on Steph's pack lunch. He always does some fantastic bargains. I am now gonna do a bit of measuring because hopefully, fingers crossed, we can manage to locate a bookcase tomorrow. So I'm thinking we can do a little cheeky IKEA trip. Haven't been in a while. You all know how much we love IKEA. Um, basically, I'm gonna show you the idea. This is the bookshelf that we have and. It's fine, it's absolutely like grand, it's not, I mean it's not going anywhere, it's pretty secure and sturdy, but as you know we're doing a lot more reading, so we have accumulated quite a few more books here. I spoke to Zara and I think what is going to be a good idea is to get a thin bookshelf here, um, so we can just move the blankets just behind the door, because basically I'm thinking it could be nice to just have a really thin bookcase, and it means that we can also move some of these cookbooks from up here into the living room and maybe some of the like less colourful ones, I think like, the black and white ones could look really cool just because I know so many people have messaged, including my mum, my auntie, because we said one more book from any cookbook and it's basically just going to bring this whole unit off the wall which we don't want. So I had a look on Facebook Marketplace and also um, Gumtree just to see if there were any for sale in the local area or any similar bookcases and there were a couple but a few of them are really into London so I'd have to pay a congestion charge to go and pick them up which is like £15. A few of them were really quite far south so I just thought it's probably going to be easy just to get one from Ikea because we know them, they're good, they're affordable. So just went on the Ikea website and this is it. This is the classic Billy bookcase. I mean, I think every home <laughs> has one of these. So I think we're going to go for the black one, which is more expensive. I thought they were £25. The black one's £45. So I don't really know why that's the case. But I basically just need to look at the measurements and see if it will fit. Because we obviously have the up lighter here. So it has to either fit under it or to the side. So I'm just going to do some measuring now. So it fits. Just about, I've got about two, maybe even one centimetre gap. I'm recording this now because if we go and buy it tomorrow, it doesn't fit. Zara will probably slap me. I think we should also start using the word 
we, 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 we. It's what? not, I've got nothing to do with this. I got asked, <laughs> what do I think about a bookcase? No, actually, I think this is worth documenting. <laughs> Come on. What do you think about a bookcase, Sarah? Oh, yeah. In my head, I've already seen it documented on Instagram, so I know it's a thought <laughs> process. That's why I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> So tomorrow, should we go to my Ikea? Oh, I don't know, Luke. We just had the jab. So tomorrow, we're going to go to my Ikea and we're going to get a bookcase. I, I haven't said a word. Well... I've been asked but told. Okay. That, that, everybody, is my life. What I... do you like? I don't know. Okay, well, it's happening. So I'm telling you. Okay. All right, man. I am the decision maker when it comes to these types of things, just because... I'm a man and I think I wear the trousers. Oh, she went! Yeah. Can you not go back to the office? <laughs> no, only kidding. Um, yeah, to be honest, I, I know I have a lot of books, cookbooks, and maybe I do need to have a little refine through them, but hey ho, it's fine. So, yeah, that's tomorrow's job. So I've just finished up editing some pictures of some dishes that I've created recently. So this was a lovely Thai green curry that I made. It was really, really good. And then this was a French um, cream and mascarpone strawberry tart, which was so good as well. So I edited that one too. And then also I just shot the bruschetta that we had for lunch. So all this will be up on Instagram. I just think these shots look really, really good. So yeah, these will be over on my Instagram. I'll leave my handle on on the screen. I shoot all of them on this. I don't know if any of you are into your photography, but this is the camera that I use. It's the Sony A7iii or Mark III. Um, it's a fairly, I'd say like an entry level full body camera. Um, I don't know if any of you are into your photography, but if you are, I'll leave it linked down below. It is fantastic. We're all done and finished with the working day and I thought I'd quickly show you what I'm wearing before we head out. So I'm wearing a two-piece, it's a bit formal informal, it's from Next Menswear, it's striped. I don't know if you can kind of see, it's like pinstriped. And then I'm just wearing a black t-shirt from All Saints. And then my trainers are these really chunky platform Converse. And I got these on ASOS and I got them in the sale and I really like them. So yeah, this is outfit of the evening so we're off for dinner and of course with this being england we need an umbrella because we always do <laughs> there we go come on in come on in black on black on black on black <laughs> did you just say hungry i said on green oh i thought you said hungry <laughs> you look very nice i like your hair today it looks Thanks, lovely Luke. all right you ready to go yes let's go so we've made it and I honestly, well like I said, I used to live in Greenwich and I came to Blackheath a couple of times. It's very lovely, it is very nice. It's, it's like a small little, well, it's not a village, it's just a small part of London, it's just gorgeous. Anyway, we're walking, we both need some water, and I'm in the mood for a cocktail. Inside the Ivy, it's an Ivy Blackie Cafe, so it's a bit more intimate, a bit more quiet. So I'm not going to get the camera out too much, but our cocktails have just arrived. Let me show you. So I've gone for a gin Campari mix. It's inspired by the 70s, and Zara has gone for vodka and prosecco in like a Bellini glass. Looks lovely. Cheers. Chin chin. Happy Friday. Starter has arrived. This twice baked cheese souffle is ridiculous. I feel like all I've done is eaten souffles recently. And then these truffle arancini are a firm favorite. They are so good. So the main courses have arrived. I've gone for these green spring greens risotto with uh, goat's cheese and watercress. And Zara's gone for, is it like a sweet potato curry? With some um, rice and we've also gone for some chips and a gorgeous bottle of the Chinian Blanc. It's like a South African white. Cheers. Chin chin. So we've finished the main courses and the desserts arrived. I love a creme brulee. It is one of my favourite desserts. And um, we've got one shell of cherry. This is it. The ivy creme brulee is incredible. So we've gone for one of those. And then we've got two espresso martinis coming. Do you want to do the honours? You can do the initial, the initial. Yeah, go for it. There it is. Oh. Cool. 
think this is becoming a habit. I'm not gonna lie, that wine was delicious, but this is the only way for me to finish off a dinner. Cheers. So as we're currently filming this, England are playing Scotland in the, is it the Euros? Oh, bless you. Is yes. it? Yes, it is, the Euros. I'm darling. not really um, up to date with football, but it's nil-nil. So, Doris is checking the score. Good morning, folks. Good morning. It is a monumental day today because me and Zara are getting our vaccines, our first round of COVID-19 vaccines. And I'm so excited. It's been a long time coming. We're getting them a hell of a lot earlier than we thought we were gonna. What time's yours? Half 10? Yeah. Zara's got hers in half an hour. I've got mine at 10 to 11. So we're gonna- 10 to 11? Yeah. 10.50 oh, minutes, I know. I'm gonna have to wait so long. Zara's, you're not, you're not nervous. No, just I a, am. Or just a little bit apprehensive because obviously we've heard about the side effects. Some people just get a bit of a dead arm. Some people react really badly to it. So we're just gonna take today chill. We're gonna go get it done. I'm really looking forward to it. And then um, we're gonna go to Ikea. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have a really chill day. Go to Ikea, build a bookcase. <laughs> we don't have to build a bookcase today. No, right? but it's, listen to our bodies. it's me. Um, yeah, but we've got, to We've read about everything online. Apparently, if you take a big bottle of water with you and drink it afterwards, it really helps with the dispersion. Also, swinging your arm around is really good as well. So, that's what we're going to do. But yes, I will let you know how it goes. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, thank you. Like 18 year olds. I know. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, magic. Yeah. 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 Amazing. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Fantastic. We are 50% vaccinated. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. Sunny to that, hon. <laughs> Thanks, love. I honestly, I just said this is all right. I'm so, so grateful. And the staff who volunteer in there to do that on their weekends to make essentially life carry on. It's just, they are wonderful. Zara's was so lovely. I literally want to be her friend. Yeah, she my, was so kind. My, my vaccinator was so lovely as well. And she's just like, oh, amazing. Anyway, we, I just put her, yeah, where is oh, it? You oh, you can't see it. You got your sticker. Grr. We, um, we've just been told by a lot of people on Instagram <laughs> already to drink sugary drinks, lots of water, paracetamol and Chocolate, chocolatey, sugary things. So we're just gonna do all of that. I'm, I've been swinging my arm like a madman. <laughs> so we're in IKEA. And we've got the blinkers on because we don't need <laughs> we don't need anything other than a bookcase. That's all we're coming in for. Just saw the spas. It's lovely. Really, really nice. I like that lamp too. Twenty five pound. It's not bad, is it? Yeah, there's a sale on everything. Ooh, they're nice. How much are they? Nine pounds for four. For four, are they? Every time we come in IKEA, we see the setup. It's beautiful. So we're in the bookshelf part of IKEA that we actually came in for. There's some lovely ones. I've just bought this one online. It's gorgeous. It's nice, isn't it, Zara? It's very like country farmhouse. But obviously, it's way too big for our flat. But maybe in the future, I think <laughs> these little coven pieces, like the addition of the detail on top, just makes it look so much more fancy. But we need the Billy one. So this is the bookcase that we're going to get. It's the Billy 40 by 28 by 202, but in black, so this color, but in that width. This shaker style kitchen, me and Zara have always said that we want something like handleless and a bit more modern, but I think we've changed our minds. Seeing this more, my God, have you grown an extra inch? How have you reached that? <laughs> the idea of having the inbuilt appliances as well as handle height, I just think is so much more practical. This shelving setup was gorgeous, and I really do like the green too. They style things really well in Ikea. Oh, this is nice. <gasps> wow, that's lovely, really warm. So we found the Billy bookcases and we found the one we need, but we ran into a slight issue in that I bought a mini. I don't think it's gonna fit. Don't buy a mini if you're about to move house, about to renovate a house, or need to buy furniture. Or don't know your parameters. Leave a comment down below how many times Zara's gonna swear at me as we try and fit this no, in the I car. Don't swear. <laughs> when I call up, up to say I'm in town, I get a notion. We may have hit a bit of a dilemma. <laughs> I feel like we might need to unpack it, I'm not gonna lie. It's so close. I know, That's it's really like literally close. like that much. Like and it's all the way in the front. 
Grr. Right, we'll have another thing. I'm not gonna lie, I actually don't think this is legal, but we move. Zara's in the back. <laughs> We're gonna go get some McDonald's, drive home, and yeah, I don't really think this is particularly the best solution, but it works. So we've treated ourselves to a McDonald's and we've gone for something new. This is the Veggie Deluxe Burger. We didn't, I actually didn't know Zara's had a look on the menu. I didn't know they did them, so um, yeah. And we got a McFlurry as well. I went for Mint Aero and Zara went for Maltita. So we made it back from Ikea and I'm very impressed with my little mini. They're not as small as they make out, which is brilliant. And we made it a whole way, no issues. I'm gonna show you what we got. So this is our little haul of items. We didn't get a lot at all, to be fair, because we didn't really need much. But um, yeah, Zara got some wrapping paper. This is four rolls of three meter wrapping paper. So it's gonna be perfect for any like upcoming birthdays she's got. Um, I got one of these, we've got, I think, three of these already. They're fantastic. They're good for, like, cereals, but I'm going to use it for plain flour. Um, actually, no, for bread flour, sorry. I've got a couple of bags of um, bread flour that I need to decant. got this picture frame to go on the bookcase because I thought the gold would be a nice little accent. I got a new candle. This is a hurricane jar down here because it's, well, to be honest, it's got a bit of life left. It's got a lot of life in it, actually. So, yeah, it's just a little filler. Um, and then the last couple of things that go on the bookcase as well. We picked up this... I showed you it while we were in there. It's like a, a string of eucalyptus, which I just thought is really cool. Sara spotted this actually in a little gold pot. And then this is a little wicker basket just for some smaller cookbooks, just so they're nicely stored away. Um, and this was six pounds. I love these. I think they look really nice. So um, yeah, that's everything. Oh, of course, and the um, and the bookcase, which we just need to put up in a bit. We both walk the same ground, been traveling all over, searching far and away. For a sign to lead me straight We walk together Down the streets of our home It's been forever A long time that I've been gone The feelings come easy as we Right, the bookcase is done. It was a valiant effort from me and Zara and I genuinely, I love it. I feel like it's what we needed in this room and it's just cleared so much space like off of the window sills off of that shelf, it just looks lovely, let me show you. So this is it, this is how we've styled it. So it's a very tall Billy bookcase and it fits, I'm so glad I measured it, it fits to a T, it's perfect. So up there are all of the books that we've read and I know a lot of you do leave comments saying why do you turn them the other way? It's just because they're loads of different colours and we just want to keep it nice and muted. So don't worry, we don't want to grab those books and if we do we can just take a chunk off and behind the other ones are facing front ways, so it just looks fine, we just prefer it. We've started with the artificial plant, and then down underneath, I've just popped the decanter I got in the charity shop behind, and we've just popped some port in that, with some whiskey glasses. And then this is the picture frame we got in Ikea, and we've just popped in the black and white photo from me and Zara in Palmer. And then underneath, just two Nigel Slater cookbooks, these are brilliant, they're more like actual books than cookbooks, and just a vase I picked up in a homeware store in Greenwich years ago. Underneath this is the wicker basket that we got in Ikea and these are just full of slightly smaller cookbooks like I've got a sourdough one, a Christmas one, ice cream one, there's even a b-roll in there from my mum's mum, so my nana, which is just fab. And then underneath this is just a cactus, this is from London House Plants and the plant pot is Ikea. And then right underneath these are just all of the cookbooks from the kitchen. We have had a very exciting delivery come through from Cult. Furniture. Now, I'm not going to unbox this in this vlog because this is coming very, very soon. We're going to be doing a little bit of a um, room update with these guys. They're very kindly sponsoring the video and I can't wait to show you what's inside. Right, I'm going to wrap this vlog up. I really hope you have enjoyed it. I've got to edit this now. This is Saturday and you're going to go and watch it on Sunday, hopefully. So it's going to be next day. Really, really lovely to have you as always. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.